Thanks, Green. Why is the president saying that in... Pardon? No. Why is the president saying <laughs> that inflation is worse everywhere but here? Uh, because what we have seen uh, across the globe, first of all, inflation is a global challenge, as we have said. Uh, it is, uh, it is, it is, it is caused by uh, uh, clearly um, the pandemic, this once in a generation pandemic that we are coming out of, and also uh, most recently uh, the war that uh, that Putin started in Ukraine that has caused inflation as we look at food and as we look at gas prices. So. If you look at globally other countries, um, and if you look at where we are economically, when you think about the Group 7, the G7, uh, we are in a much stronger place than we are economically than, than the rest. And, and also- I did, I did yep. look globally though. He says that inflation is worse everywhere but here. That's not true. The US has worse inflation than Germany, France, Japan, Canada, India, Italy, Saudi Arabia. You win. Well, so why is he saying that? I think we, what we are saying is that uh, when you talk about inflation, it is a global thing. And it is not just about the United States. This is something that everyone is feeling because of coming out of a once in, once in a lifetime pandemic, because of the war that Russia has started in Ukraine. Okay, why isn't the president asking oil companies to drill more here in the US? Can, let me just let me just give you a little bit of a rundown of why we are here. Um, what, and just, what, I know his letter was a lot about refining and increasing refining, but that's a lot of oil that comes in from overseas. So why isn't he asking so, companies to drill more here in the US? Well, hold on. So here we go. So this is where we are. I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown of why we are here and what's going on and why we wrote the letter. So due to decreased demand at the start of the pandemic, US oil refineries reduced their capacity by more than 800,000 barrels per day. Now that consumers demand has returned thanks to the president's recovery plan, oil refineries have still not brought refinery capacity back to the pre-pandemic level. So that is the problem and that is what we're trying to address. Uh, but, but kiddo, I want you to just take a look, okay? You don't have to agree, but I want you to look in my eyes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, at the same time, Putin's invasion of Ukraine put pressure on global supply and gas prices have gone up by nearly $2 since before the invasion. So President Biden has taken historic actions to elevate this pressure, releasing record amounts of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve and relying, uh, relaying the world to, 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 relaying the world to, release, to release oil too, that's at 240 uh, million uh, barrels of oil that he was able to do with his partnership. And so we are now at the highest levels of domestic production. So we actually have uh, of crude oil since April April of 2020 with an additional 9,000 approved drilling permits that remain unused, but refinery capacity needs to come back too. So that is what the problem is. We need them to actually refine uh, the crude oil, which is not happening. And that's what we're calling on oil companies to do. Why not do. more here in the U.S. though? <laughs> We, because we don't need to do that. What we need them to do is, with the oil that's out there, we need the, to, them to refine that oil so that so that prices, so that the capacity could go up and then prices would go down, okay. inherently go down. Yeah. And so, I know the president once said that he was going to end fossil fuel. Is that now off the table? No, we are going to continue uh, to move forward with our uh, clean energy uh, proposal, our climate change uh, and, and so proposal. Is that, is that a priority? So here, climate I, change I, I, over gas. No, that's not what we're saying. We're what saying we're saying that President, we're saying I'm answering I'm answering the question. Is his I'm to answer the question. Gas prices or is it addressing climate change? First of all, we it's you can do both at the same time. Are you sure about that? What we're trying to deal for, uh, what we're trying to uh, deal with right now is how do we lower cost for American families? And one of the things that we are seeing currently right now with oil refineries is they are using this moment that there is a war in Ukraine to, to actually make a profit when they, there are steps that they can take so that we can actually lower, lower gases, low gas prices for families. And so the president has taken action, right? We talked about the strategic petroleum that he's done tapping into barrels how much is that lowered prices it, here's the thing here's the thing peter if we had if the president had not taken the actions that he's taken in the past several months it would not it, the prices that we see now would be a lot worse
Hey!